I hope by now you at least know what this part of their logo is, right? You know what it actually is. Well, have you ever wondered about this part? Because I think I figured it out. And well, some of you aren't ready for it. You see, whether you realize it or not, there is most certainly an ice wall that surrounds and contains all of the water in this known realm. And not only have there been pictures taken of it and videos from the actual Navy, this is Navy footage, but there are maps, many, many maps, like this map from 1892 that depicts a certain white circular thing going all the way around, all the way around all the continents, holding in all the water. And remember, I said maps. This is just one from 1892. Here's a much more recent one from 1944 that actual American School of Air used to use as their flight school map. Now, NASA didn't come around till 1958, so you can imagine why they might still have these maps as recently as 1944. But let's go back in time. Back in time to 1587, where the ice wall wasn't frozen. And it's still depicted here, beautifully mapped out with all the known continents in that ice wall. But I wanna show you something very, very specific about this. Now, warm climate ice wall and what they depicted in it back in 1587. Let's take a look right here. See anything? Well, what if we take a different angle of that map? Now, do you see anything? And just to further show that this is what it is, the placement of the head seems to be almost exact in their circle. And while they love to tell us the truth in plain sight, because they just couldn't help themselves on this little logo, and there even happens to be a new show coming out with a very similar thing. And well, personally, I think there's a reason more than any of us know why the devil is called the great dragon, the old serpent called the devil and Satan. He was hurled to the earth and his angels with him. Well, I think there's a chance he was hurled to the earth in a time prior to the Bible, a time where he became part of the earth. Because while I am a huge believer in the Bible, I am also a big believer that there was a time before the, the Bible was written, and even a time here on earth before the Bible was written. And I don't just say this for my own thoughts, but from things that I have found in the earth that are only explainable through a time existing prior to the Bible being written. And this book does such an amazing job of tying in real science and scripture to prove that this is more than likely the case. You see, like I said, I'm a big believer in the Bible, but that doesn't mean that it isn't just the story of our current world and our current situation here on earth. There could have been history pre-Bible. Now just look at what Africa looks like and tell me there's not a chance that that wasn't a dragon head down to its eye and mouth. And there's even cranial scarring here which I have seen from a TT creator that does a great job on it. And remember what this book is called, We Walk Upon Dragons, some of which I have found on my very own. This is the size of a state in the West Coast. And I know I've shown this one before. It's a literal dragon head spewing its probably stomach acid that extends to the East Coast. Here's Florida down here. Now I wanna show you one more thing. And I want you to keep in mind, I am a believer in scripture and in the Bible. And I found this book at a bookstore in my local town, and I wanna show you something that it shows. Now keep in mind, this is a book on commentary of the Bible, and it talks about the Babylonian account of creation, talking about what creation said from these tablets that they supposedly found. Now bear with me as I try to read this. According to it, things, all things were produced at first from Tiamat, a personification of the primeval chaos represented by a huge dragon. The gods came into being a long succession, but at length, enmity 
rose between them and Tiamat, who created monsters to oppose them. Merodach, a solar deity known also as Bel, and regarded to as the supreme god and patron deity of Babylon, was chosen the champion of the gods. He vanquished Tiamat, cut her body in two, with one half of it made a firmament supporting the upper waters in the sky. So they're literally talking about a dragon being cut in two and used as the firmament. The firmament that all Freemasons and Flat Earthers and biblical cosmologists know exists. The firmament that stretches down to the ground. The firmament that is now frozen, but used to look much, much different with a dragon's head right there, right there, right there. Now, if you think some of this talk about we walk upon dragons and there being pre-Earth before the Bible is crazy, I, I really encourage you to go trek, check this book out. It's amazing. He does a great job, like I said, of outlining it with scripture to back it up. But of course, all this for entertainment purposes. I know that this is just an easier way to depict Antarctica to make it a circle and dragons didn't exist. Now, this one in Utah, just it's pareidolia. And even though they call it Dragon Canyon Head, that's just a coincidence. Just like it's a coincidence that a snake tongue perfectly goes through the logo and that the head of a snake or serpent, that old dragon, lines up perfectly with that one. And again, that's just pareidolia too. We definitely don't walk upon dragons and there's definitely not a firmament, even though these guys sure claim to know there is. And someone on the maps probably just drew that in for funsies. And this isn't really Navy footage from 1957. Nope, I'm sure they just faked it and, and labeled it that way for entertainment purposes only, people. 